Welcome to the INA Nanny of the Year announcement. We want to thank Imperative for their sponsorship of the Nanny of the Year and Ambassador Program background checks. Thank you also to Homework Solutions for sponsoring the Nanny of the Year announcement. You've hired a caregiver to make things easy. Let the payroll and tax experts at Homework Solutions help. Whether you have questions about overtime rules, paid leave requirements, or how to ensure your employee gets access to the benefits they deserve, we have the answers you need. With nearly 30 years of experience focused on the needs of household employers, families and caregivers alike know to turn to Homework Solutions for help. So go ahead, simplify. Since 1990, the International Nanny Association has presented the INA Nanny of the Year Award at its annual conference to recognize the personal achievements of a working nanny. The INA Nanny of the Year serves as an example of the best kind of nanny and as a positive role model for our association in the in-home childcare industry. Since our beginnings in 1985, INA has worked to promote the professional nanny and to raise the standards of in-home childcare. In addition to highlighting the positive contributions nannies make, the INA Nanny of the Year serves as an educational portal, providing a unique opportunity for the public to learn about those who are truly professional nannies. I'd like to introduce you to our recipient from last year, 2019's INA Nanny of the Year, Heidi Jolene. Hi everyone. For those that don't know, I'm Heidi Jolene, the current 2019 INA Nanny of the Year. I want to thank everyone for watching today. I've enjoyed my year as NODI and will continue to learn and grow as an educator and nanny collaborator. I've had an amazing year meeting new people and talking to old friends, traveling all over, learning, exploring, and gaining knowledge. This year has definitely been one for the books. Obviously, this year is different than normal. Normally, we would all be together, unifying, collaborating, encouraging one another, together sharing our knowledge, our guidance, and our love. This year, while we all can't be together, we are together, and we can continue to share in other ways. The 35th Annual INA Conference was to open with our ceremony dinner. This year's ceremony dinner was called the Light Party, a get-together where we all shine, shine our lights for all to see. As nannies, we all strive to shine and enlighten others in our everyday lives. Shine for those in our care, shine for those we work for, and shine for our fellow nannies. Think of a lighthouse. It shines and guides ships into the port, past the rocks and the dangers. In the past few months, some days we may have felt like the lighthouse, while other days we may have felt like the ship. Take these times and these days to be someone's guiding light with a smile or a kind word or just some acknowledgement. We all have seen the nanny world pull together and shine bright and strong for each other. I am reminded of a poem by Anne Lamott. Lighthouses don't go running around islands searching for boats to be saved. They just stand shining. Use your natural light, shine, solve problems, make art, think deeply, figure out what you are meant to contribute to those in the world and make sure you do it. I have the amazing opportunity today to introduce the nominees for the 2020 INA Nanny of the Year Award. These special nominees are all lighthouses in their communities and beyond. I am honored at having to pass my torch to one of these shining examples in our nanny community. So let's get on with the nominees. Maribel Avery. Since 2001, Maribel has pursued her life's passion earning her BA in Early Childhood Education Administration. She also moved from California to Hawaii. Maribel has a reputation as hardworking, dedicated, compassionate, and professional. Melissa Christopher. 
An INA credentialed nanny, Melissa continues her education and training by attending many conferences like INA, Nanny Palooza, Nanny Jamboree, and the All Star Nanny Conference. Melissa has been both a live in and live out nanny for over for over the past decade, assisting families through all steps of life. Sarah Foster. Sarah, an INA credentialed nanny and household manager, she co-leads a leadership group called Nanny Panel for her local nannies in Cincinnati. Besides being a nanny and household manager, using child-led planning, Sarah also is a certified pastry chef and cosmetologist. Claire Lockwear a national nanny examination board professional nanny who has worked with children for over 35 years. Claire has worked worldwide with a wide range of families, continuing to go above and beyond in every position she holds. Erin Loudon, working as a professional nanny since 2004 in multiple countries, Erin began her career working with multiples in England. Her career expanded to the UAE, where she was a nanny and a tutor for five years. Erin currently is a nanny in Canada, working with a family full-time. Trejanda Moment. Trejanda, or Miss Trey, as she is fondly called, has over 15 years in childcare. Miss Trey continues to grow in her field by studying and researching new parenting methods, expanding and broadening her training and understanding of children. Kim Morgan, with 20 years building her vast experiences, Kim continues to learn and remain current on best practices to help the parents she works with. Kim is a CASH certified advanced newborn care specialist, parent educator, and sleep specialist. Kim makes it her life's mission to channel her love for babies into a successful career. Maxine Salmon, autism certified through the Autism Center with the International Board of Credentialing and Continuing Education Standards, Maxine resides in the Turks and Caicos. She continues her educational learning through the Sandals Corporate University. Maxine also holds a certificate in the Royal Society for Public Health. Danielle Souza, a career nanny for 12 years, Danielle is not only an NCS, but she holds a diploma in Montessori 0-6 to six teaching, also a child psychology and many more certificates. Danielle holds her bachelor's, bachelor's in costume design, which she brings fun projects and costumes to the children in her care. Jenny Wood, a nanny, NCS, and CPST, Jenny has worked with families for many years. Jenny has worked in the US, Canada, and England, working with multiples and children with disabilities. Jenny uses her CPST training to work with low-income families to ensure that they are driving safely. Kamon Wright Johnson. Working with children of all ages and various developmental disabilities, Kamon has demonstrated her devotion to the childcare field. With over a decade, in the field, Kamon continues her training and certifications through the International Board of Credentialing and Continuing Education Standards. I was able to speak to all of these unique and qualified ladies while I interviewed them for the Nanny of the Year process, getting just a little glimpse into their lives. Any one of these nominees would be an amazing addition to the Nodi family. Unfortunately, only one can be picked. And I am very, very glad that I didn't have to make that vicious decision. Now, and with that, it is my honor that I'm going to announce the 2020 INA Nanny of the Year. I'm extremely pleased and honored to announce Kim Morgan as the INA's 2020 Nanny of the Year. Growing up in my home country of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, where my nanny career first began, 
I never imagined my life would take this trajectory and I would one day be accepting such an incredible honor for my accomplishments. Keeping the nominee process a secret was difficult. Having to keep the secret of being the first nanny of color to receive the nanny of the year award from the International Nannies Association for over a month was near impossible. I was beyond excited to learn the news and I'm thrilled to now share with all of you. It means so much to me to be recognized and it's an honor I share with my fellow nannies and caretakers all over the world. We come from so many different countries and backgrounds, come in different colors and we speak different languages, but we share an unbreakable bond that connects us all, a deep love for children. Today, I accept this honor with recognition to all my nanny families. Without them, this would not be possible. I'd like to say thank you for entrusting the care of your children to me. I'd also like to recognize my charges for whose life I hope to have positively impacted and who have immensely touched mine. These children filled me with such unspeakable joy that each day with them seems to create a new adventure. To my nominators, Sue Downey and Elizabeth Daly, I say thank you for your support and believing in me that I had what it took to become the INA Next Nanny of the Year. To my references, I sincerely appreciate that you poured your hearts out as to why you believe I deserve to win this award. To the Note Selection Committee, I say thank you for your time and effort as you read through many portfolios and chose me to be the representative for nannies everywhere. To the, my sons, Miles and Morgan, the most important children in my life, I say thank you for teaching me unconditional love and allowing me to love others' children as though they were my own. I would like to encourage my fellow nannies and caretakers, be confident in who you are and this noble profession that we love. Invest in yourself and always, always follow your dreams. In the words of Mary Poppins, there's no place to go but up. I truly believe that phrase and live it daily. Thank you to the International Nannies Association for this opportunity. And I look forward to being your 2020 Nanny of the Year representative. Congratulations to Kim Morgan, our 2020 INA Nanny of the Year. Thanks again to Homework Solutions for sponsoring the Nanny of the Year virtual announcement. Don't miss our announcement of the INA Meritorious Service Award recipient, August 1st.